Morning everybody. It's a bit grey and murky at the moment. It's supposed to be a bit cloudy most of the day. It's been lovely this week though. Lovely sunshine and uh, trouble is I've been at work so I haven't been able to get out on the bike. I did go in on one day on it but um, it's been a bit frosty and that ain't, just ain't worth the risk taking it out in, this fr in the frost. Not when you get a car stand in the garage anyway. But this morning uh, I've met Steve, he's in front of me, and uh, we're now heading up to, well we're actually on the Ely Bypass, and we're calling into a garage up here and meeting John, you've seen John in my videos before, he's that nutter on that 125 that can pass any bloody thing. Um, yeah, and uh, then we're heading over to Wheels in Peterborough because uh, time I get over there that'll be around about the 600 mile mark and uh, this has got to have a service and while we're there we're going to have a bite to eat and I've been chatting to Freddie or Garden Shed as you know him and um, he's coming over and also Hepcat Harley so it'll be good to see them again I haven't seen them for a while I think the last time I saw Freddy was Skeggy's Sunny Honey Run so it'll be good to catch up with them again um, while we're over there we're going to have a bite to eat and probably just hang around and wait for my bike to be done but Freddie did say that they do a free courtesy bike so whether I'll get one of them and we'll go out for a ride for an hour or so I don't know but um, we will see what we decide and see what happens. There's John. So yeah, that's the plan of action for today. So we're just going to go in here and pick John up and then we're heading up to Peterborough. There he is, he's actually cleaned his bike. Morning! Alright! Yeah, Alright! Well, we waiting here about half hour. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, we'll catch you when we get going again. We just met John and uh, we're now heading up the uh, Witchwood Bypass and then we're heading on to Chatteris, then March and then we're going to take 47 straight across to Peterborough. So what I'll do, I'll um, pick this up again when we get up that way you don't want to see us riding all the way up to there because that's that's a boring road that ain't the best of roads and then I should keep uh, chatting on anyway so you don't want to hear that okay then I'll uh, as I said I'll pick this up again once we get nearly up to Peterborough well we just got to Peterborough that was a boring and uh, ride 
Yeah, it's just straight up the A47, as simple as that. But, um, God, it stinks, that plant in front. I don't know what it is, power station, I think. I think that's the big power station, not sure. But it stinks. So, yeah, uh, what's the time? 10 past nine. That's not too bad. Wheels don't open till half past, so uh, that'll give us a chance to get there and just have a rest until the till they open, and then we'll go in and get the bike booked in and uh, go and get a bite to eat, I suppose, and see if uh, Freddie and Ian turn up. I hope they do. As I said before, that'd be good to see him again. But, um, yeah. Yeah, Eastern Industry, this bit is called. Probably a lot of you watching these know that anyway, but... Uh, God, wind is a bit keen. That's making my eyes water. We shall have to clean my visor when we get there as well, before we leave anyway. Because that's a little bit shitty. But these roads don't get any better through here. Nah, some rough old roads. But then having said this, said that, um, the suspension on here is fairly firm, so uh, I feel it a lot more. Uh, it's basically a sports bike, so uh, you're going to. Whereas the NC, that was more of an off-roader, that had got a lot more travel. This, oh, he's coming. Yeah, that had got a lot more travel, and I think that was a lot softer suspension to what this one is. But it is what it is. They're two different class bikes, and uh, that's, that's as simple as that. So, where are we? Just up here, I think. Yeah, I can see the sign. Just past where you eat your kids for half price. I'll put an indicator on a bit early, really, but there we go. <laughs> there we got here. Oh, I see. That's uh, so. What do we fancy taking out? Ugh. Courtesy bike wise, shan't bother with the gold wing. What would we try? I don't know. I fancy the cruiser. Just something different. I haven't ridden a cruiser. But we'll see. Anyway, we're going to go and get sorted out. So uh, we'll talk to you all again soon. Okay. Well, we're now leaving. I know I didn't show you a lot in there. I didn't take any photos or anything like that. It was just me riding up there. But met up with Freddie and Ian. That was brilliant to see them again. We had a good old chat and a coffee and a bite to eat. And uh, yeah, brilliant laugh. And. Uh, got my bike all serviced so that should all be good to go now and I'm not really limited as such on opening it up now the only thing they said was um, don't hold it up on the high revs for very uh, long periods of time I mean that's all right just to shoot past something to open it up but um, don't redline it for any maximum or any length of time which I don't do anyway but I had a well let's just say it was a 
a heart stopping moment we'll put it like that we went in the cafe and um, had a breakfast one thing and another as you do and come out we had a wander around look at all the bikes and the chat and you know just a general good look round for a couple of hours while I was doing it and then I got a text message to say that my bike was ready fine went up to the counter and I couldn't find my wallet well I my heart missed a couple of three beats I think I thought, where the hell is that I was trying to find it well I was looking everywhere I thought it should be and I've actually got a like a hoodie on underneath me leather jacket and I'd stuck it in the pocket of that uh, and it was only at the last minute that I found it because I was then going to go back into the calf to see if I'd left it there so you can imagine the old heart was missing a beat and pounding I was sweating thinking oh no you know as you do but um, I got it back I found it all is good but yeah that was a horrible feeling horrible experience so we got that all paid for and um, as I say we're now on our way back and um, nah, it's been a good morning out to be honest what's the time now 20 past 12 that'll be about half oh, one time I get home I suppose yeah that's that service now I I haven't I say I've got, I still will take it steady because that is me but um, I said you will notice the difference in the feel of it you know the oil that's a different oil they use to the running in oil so that was starting to feel I said to him, I said, it feels, I don't know, it clunks when it goes into gear. And I thought it shouldn't do, you know. So I mentioned it to them, and they said, no, what it is, I mean, this smooth, smooth can be again now, it's the oil. They use a running in oil. Which, yeah, I, I guess being a mechanic, I ought to have known that. But the machines I work on, we just put an oil straight in them because they're only like mowers and things, you know, garden tractors. And they just have um, oil straight in them. But, so it had a running in oil in it. And so that's a lot thinner than what we should be in there. But they said, um, once that's out, you will feel a difference. Quite some traffic here now. And I can feel the difference now as I'm changing gear and it is a lot better but yeah I went in and I said um, would it be possible to have a courtesy bike and he said we don't do courtesy bikes on morning appointments I thought well that's strange but anyway I didn't argue so we um, we just had a coffee and a wander around so that weren't a problem but never mind but it's been a good morning so I didn't go out for a ride on any of the others that stood there but not to worry have they got through the lights John stopped ok I'll have to pull over John has been caught in traffic he stopped sit here and wait for John there he come
He's with us. Yeah, this is feeling silky smooth again now. That's good. Anyway, with that, service is all done. Had the, um, apparently there was a recall for it, which was for the placement of the brake, brake pipe and speed sensor cable. That's all been checked, that's all good. So now we're all good to go. 620 miles, so um, as far as the service interval go, that was pretty much spot on. So if you've made it this far and you haven't been bored, or if I haven't bored you too much, we will talk to you all in the next one. As you can hear, that sounds nice, if you can hear it. And um, ride safe everybody. If you like this video and you haven't subscribed, please do. And we'll talk to you all again in the next one. Bye for now.